What's up guys, Evil Deer here, and I'm back for some more Esperanto slash World of Warcraft lessons. Now, before I jump straight into today's lesson, I just want to, um, I just want to point out to you something that I found quite funny today. Like, it literally happened probably about an hour ago, before I started, before I decided to do this lesson. Someone out there, one of you guys, one of you guys have made a page called Moyosu Wheel. Now, for those of you who don't know what the Moyosu Wheel thing is, it's like a vlog that I did a while back about, you know, how I lied about the fact that I'm from this country called Moyosu Wheel for a non Esperanist. And it, it garnered a fair bit of interest from you guys. A couple of years laughed about it. And funnily enough, someone went and made a page for Moyosu Wheel. So I've gone and liked the page with my um, Evil Deer account. I would love it if you guys can go and like it. I'm going to leave a link down in the description because I think it's freaking just hilarious, okay? And also, let's let's hashtag this. So hashtag Moyosu Wheel. Let's see who else is in on this actual joke. And now I'm being wounded by all these people at the moment, but that's okay, I'm all cool with that. Am I meant to go over here? Oh, there's a cave here. Okay, cool. So, let's get into today's lesson, shall we? So first up, let's begin with a little revision, shall we? So, what was the word for the number nine? It was now. Now. Sorry, that was probably a bit too. One of you guys actually told me to slow down on, you know, the, the interruptions there, but yeah, sorry about that. So, what was the way to say, um, I have a. Uh, an ostrich, for instance. Mi hava struton. Or you could say struton mi havas, really depends on you, what way you're leaning, what way you're inclined. Okay, so what was the word for hand? It was mano. And what was the word for head? It was kapo. And what about the word for pants? It was pantalono. And what about the word for rhinoceros? Rhinocero. And this one I taught you a while back, but what was the word for but? Said. And what was the word for now? Nun. Now in this particular lesson, I'm going to teach you guys a couple of conjunctions and I'm also going to... Ooh, what have I found? Okay, I'm going to teach you a couple of conjunctions and I'm going to focus on mainly just like a few little words that are like used in everyday speech and some colours because I think it's time that we learn some colours. So, first up, I'm going to teach you the word for and. And the word for and is kai. And it's called K-A-J. Um, the J, remember in Esperanto, has a Y sound to it. So just remember that. So how would you say... Uh, for instance, the turkey and the crocodile. Well, not the turkey, I haven't taught you that. Okay, sorry, um, the, uh, the ostrich and the crocodile. La struto kai la crocodilo. La struto kai la crocodilo. And if you got turkey, write it in the comments down below. Let's see how many of you guys are actually way ahead of these lessons. Okay, next, how would you say, um, the lake and the river? La lago kai la rivero. La lago kai la rivero. Okay, and how would you say, um, the mob and me? La estulo kai mi. Now I'm just going to teach you something about that mob. I've been telling you that mob, like the generic term for these, is estulo. Um, I don't know if I pointed this out in the previous lesson, but remember, estulo is a mob that has human characteristics about it. It's a, like a person-based characteristics. If you want to say like a mob, like a pig type of mob or something like that, um, you would use estajo. Estajo. So just remember that one. Um, I'm not sure if I pointed that out in a previous lesson, but someone somewhere asked me about it, so I just thought I'd mention that. Okay, so we're going to learn the word for or now. And the word for or is al. And it's got that U with the mini U on top of it, which is the W sound. So um, just, yeah, just remember that one. So that's al. 
So how would you say, um, for instance, the lake or the river? I can't cast that yet. La lago al la rivero. La lago al la yeah. La Rivero, sorry, La Rivero, that kind of gets me every time, that one, that's kind of like the rolling R with the L sound. Okay, now I've taught you the word for where, so how do you say where is the mob? Quie estas la escudo? So I'm going to tell you how to say there, and the word for there, as in physically location wise, is tie, tie. And it's spelled T-I-E, it's very similar to Kie. So just, just I'm going to like practice those two with you now, just to see which ones, um, not which ones, but just to make sure you guys can hear the difference. So I'm going to say each one, and you're going to say back at me what you think it is. So, Kie. Where. Tie. There. Kie. Where? I'm going to pick up speed now. Tie. There. Kie. Where? Kie. Where? Tie. There. Kie. Where? Tie. There. Kie. Where? <laughs> Sorry, I got a little bit crazy at the end there. So, how would you say the mob is there? La estulo estas tie. La estulo estas tie. Now, I taught you previously how to say, um, uh, this and that, so that was tio, and this is tio chi or chi tio, uh, chi tio. It's the same concept with there and here. So there is tie, and here is chi tie or tie chi. So how would you say the mob is here? La estulo estas chi tie. Or, la estulo estas tie chi. Now, these guys here, they've got human characteristics. However, you could also use estagio for these ones if you wanted to, because they're also more animal-like. It's it's really up to you on that one. I guess if the safe bet is, if you don't know, I'd probably just go with um, estagio in that sense. Just if you're not 100% like sure on it. But then no one's going to hold you like accountable for it. You're not going to go before the, the lingva you know, um, academy on, they're going to judge you on it type of thing, so don't worry about that. Okay, so how would you say, where is the mob? It is, quie estas la estulo, or quie estas la estagio, and how would you say, the mob is here? La estulo estas chi tie, or la estulo estas tie chi. So I'm going to teach you how to say with now. So how would you say, or actually, why am I doing that? The word for with is kun, kun. And the way to say, um, for instance, oh, what is that? I'm just going to check out that weapon. Sorry, one sec. And no, I don't want to wear that. That's not based for me. So to say, I'm with the mob, you'd say, mi estas kun la estulo. Mi estas kun la estulo. Now that he's died, how would we say, I was with the mob? Mi estis kun la estulo. Mi estis kun la estulo. Now one sec, oh why am I doing that? Ah, come on! Die you annoying thing! Okay, so how would you say, um... Uh, let me think of something, I'm trying to look for something around here to say. God damn it, die you stupid mob. Okay, how would you say the mob is with the crocodile, for instance? You can use whatever mob you want. La estulo estas kun la crocodilo. Or la estajo estas kun la crocodilo. I remember ajo, which I've been putting at the end there, means thing. You probably remember that from like fish ajo, which is like something made out of fish. Okay, so we're going to practice some colours now. Now, obviously, the predominant colour around here is brown. So, <laughs> the word for brown is bruna. Bruna. Spelled B-R-U-N-A. So, how would you say the mountain is brown, based on what you've learned so far? 
La monto estas bruna. La monto estas bruna. And how would you say the mob is brown? La estulo estas bruna. La estulo estas bruna. Or you could say la estajo estas bruna. I'm just gonna kill this guy here. And then as soon as I've taken this guy out, we're just gonna cut it until I get into the next area because I don't want you guys to see a cave the whole time for this whole lesson. And die. <laughs> and cut. Okay, and we're back outside. So what was the word for grass again? It was herdable. Herdable. And I'm gonna teach you the word for green now. So the word for green is verdada. Verdada. So what was the word for brown? It was bruna. Bruna. And how would you say the grass is green? La herbo estas verda. La herbo estas verda. And I'm going to teach you the word for blue now. And the word for blue is blua. That's a pretty one e easy one to remember. Blua. So, do you remember how to say sky? It was cielo. So, how would you say the sky is blue? La cielo estas blua. And how would you say the mob is brown? La estulo estas bruna. And how would you say the wolf is brown? La lupo estas bruna. La lupo estas bruna. And how do you say the sky is blue? La cielo estas blua. And car, don't you aggro him as well? God, I'm just gonna run from these guys. They're just continually aggroing. Okay, so we've learnt blue. That's bluer. We've learnt brown, and we've learnt uh, green. Verda. Now this grass isn't exactly green, but it's good enough for us. Okay. So how would you say um, the bush, like this bush here, is green? La arbusto estas verda. And how would you say the river is blue? La rivero estas blua. And how would you say the crocodile is green? La crocodilo estas verda. Okay, I'm going to teach you the word for white now. And the word for white is blanca. Blanca. So I'm trying to look for something that's more whitish around here. What do we got? Um, you know what, I'm going to teach you the word for house as well. So, the word for house is domo. Domo. And you can think of, like when I first learned Esperanto, I thought of like domestic, and that kind of helped me remember that word in particular. So just domo. Oh, I've got some new legs! I've got some new legs! What's the word for pants? It is pantalono. And how do you say, I have pants? Mi havas pantalonon. Mi havas pantalonon. What the? Are you telling me I've done everything in this area? What's going on here? Oh, I've kind of left that area. Okay, let's just randomly walk over this way. So what was the word for white again? It is blanca. Now I know this bridge isn't white, but it's more like reddish brown. But let's just say, how would you say the bridge is white? La ponto estas blanca. La ponto estas blanca. And how do you say the lake is blue? La lago estas blua. And how would you say the crocodile and the lake is blue? La crocodilo kai la lago estas bluai. Did you hear what I did then? I changed blua from the singular to blue eye, which is which is plural. The reason being is because blue eye is not applying to just the lake or just the crocodile, but both things. So the adjective becomes plural. Now I have no idea where I'm walking at the moment, but yeah. So how would you say the crocodile and the lake is blue? La crocodilo caído lago estas blue eye. 
And how would you say the lake and the sky is full of them? La lago kaj la cielo estas bluaj. And how would you say this, uh, the snake is white? La serpento estas blanca. Okay, so we're just going to do a little bit of revision of what we've learnt today because we've basically ended the end, or, uh, reached the end of our lesson. So what was the word for an? It was kai. And what was the word for or? It was al. And what about grass? It was herbivore. I'm just going to loot this guy. Now we've reached level 12, I reckon maybe within one more lesson, maybe two lessons, we will finally be able to go do some dungeons with other real players, which is going to spice things up so much. We're almost there. I might even just go and grind for one entire level or two levels, just so that we can you know, get to that quicker for you guys. Anyway, I've reached the end of this lesson. If you've liked it, give it a like, um, share it with your friends, and if you haven't subscribed already, subscribe. And tell me if you like these lessons, and I'll keep making them for it. At the moment, you guys seem to be loving them, so I'm just going to keep on making them. And I'll see you in the next video. And if you're not there, well, guess what they're going to find in the belly of the next crocodile? <laughs>